then nothing is impossible for us. So don't be limited, please. Don't be limited by your past. Don't be limited by your ancestors. Do not think that your ancestors will make a way for you. The only one that will make a way for you is Jesus. Do not be limited by your ancestors or what they have done wrong. The Bible says, let every man pay for his own sin. So many people are limited. They say, oh, my ancestors did that and this and that. The moment we come before Jesus and we ask him forgiveness for our sins, he cleans us and make a clear distinction between us and the sins and the wrongs of our ancestors. But the person who does not come before God with a repentant heart and do not ask for forgiveness, the sins of his ancestors will follow him to the third and, or even further, to the third and the fourth generation of those who hate me and he will be cursed because of his ancestors' sin. But the person who comes to Jesus in faith, believe in Jesus, these things cannot work on his life anymore. Because he receives forgiveness in the moment you are serious with God, you follow Jesus, the Bible says you're a new creation. Anyone who is in Christ Jesus is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Everything became new now. You're a brand new man. It does not matter where you come from anymore. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you accept Jesus, all the blessings of your ancestors will follow you too. But when you receive Jesus, the curses of your ancestors and the wrongdoing stop following you. In Jesus' name. This is good news. Say, this is an advantage. I mean, it is such an advantage to follow Jesus and to repent of your sins. So the moment you start to follow Jesus Christ, you repent of your sins, you seriously follow him with all your heart, you become a new person. If you are born again, you're a new person. And they... There's a division. Jesus brings a distinction between, of the division between you and your past. And your past means your ancestors, what they have done too. Amen? Before you get born again, your past is your ancestors in their wrongdoings too. But when you come to Jesus, it is a clear cut. Boom. But there's one thing that God will not forget. If you follow Jesus, the good things that your ancestors have done, will also follow you now because they are please, pleasing in his sight. Give God a hand. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Are you glad? There's great benefits in serving God. Say to the guy next to you, there's great benefits in serving God. If anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. Do you understand the greatness of this miracle? Let me tell you, not everyone is understanding the greatness of this miracle. The Bible says, let it be to you according to your faith. Many pe people don't fully believe. They think it's a story, oh, I'm going to try to believe, and so on and so on. Hallelujah. 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 Listen. You need to be baptized. There's things that the Christian need to do. There's things that men say. It's, uh, 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 um, you're a man. There's things that the man need to do, you know. Let me tell you, there's things that the Christian need to do. There's one thing that you clearly should do. When you start to follow Jesus, you turn away from your old ways. If you're born again, you're a new creation. You become a heavenly person. When you become a heavenly person, you forget your old habits your old ways of doing things. Even the, some of the ways that your fathers, your fathers has done certain things. Your fathers and my fathers has done certain things that we leave behind. We leave their bad habits behind. And we follow our heavenly father. We follow his habits. We become like him. We receive his nature. We become new creation people, born again people with a new nature, with a new way of thinking. I've got the mind of Christ, says the Bible. A new way of thinking, a new way of speaking, a new way of acting, a new way of living, a new way of seeing things with a new attitude, a new behavior, heavenly behavior, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 There's something that Christians need to do that some neglect. 
after you gave your heart to Jesus, you need to be baptized. If you don't get, get, get baptized, Pharaoh is going to take you back to Egypt. If the, if the Jews, the old Israelites, did not go through the Red Sea, say the Red Sea, then Pharaoh, if they stopped before the Red Sea, Pharaoh would have taken them back to Egypt, back to the world in its habits. That's why you see many Christians, and we've seen it many times, the people at, at some time went many, many, to many camps, men's camp and women camps, and they come back and they're excited and they go back into the religious systems and the systems tell them it's not necessary to get baptized. And what happens to them, they did not go through the Red Sea. And what does old Pharaoh do? Old, old Satan. He comes and he get them again, follow them, pursue them, overcome them, take them back to Egypt as slaves again to the Egyptian ways, meaning the ways of the world, the sinful ways of the world. Amen. When, when they went through the Red Sea, it was baptism for them. It was written up for us. That's why the Red Sea became the Red Sea. It represents the blood of Jesus, which was a terrible sight for the enemy, but a great blessing for God's people. Amen. So baptism is like the Red Sea. It represents the blood of Jesus.